Hello, today is Wednesday, October 4th, and this is Stephen Talbot here. Um, so I've had a pretty hectic last couple of days. Uh, it all started yesterday. Um, well first, thank you for being a part of this journey. <laughs> um, and I appreciate you watching these videos. I always like to, to show my appreciation. Sorry if it's a little bit loud. It's actually kind of hot outside today, so I've got the AC bumping. Um, I'm trying to think where I need to go. I need to go to Bayside. Okay. So it all started yesterday when my friend sent a text message to me that was, I guess, from my ex-partner. Um, that said... Hey, if you're with Steven, I don't know why he thought that I would be with, why we're, why would he would think that we were, we would be together, but anyway, I mean, we are together sometimes, me and my friend, but, I don't know, it just seems odd. Oh, maybe because he, she, she was in court with me the first time, maybe that's why. Anyways, um, it said, tell Steven to tell the judge that I'm, I'm running late, I'll be there in five minutes or whatever, and I'm like, what the hell? Actually, my friend did not tell me that it said anything about a judge at all at first. So I assumed that he was just going to show up at my house again like he's done so many times acting like a raging lunatic. Um, but then later on, she sent me a screenshot of the message and said, Sorry, I did not see the word judge before. I, meaning that she didn't... I, get, I mean, it was the assumption was that he was, there was a court date, right? So, the interesting thing is, there were two keys to my mailbox. I only have one of those keys. Um, he used to get mail there. I've noticed he hasn't received any mail there, and I have not received any notification of a court date. So, for those of you who do not know, um, like, my ex-partner and I separated, well, I've been trying to get rid of him for years. He has blacked my eye, he has caused, he spent all, you know, he, he, it was just our relationship was, we hadn't slept together in multiple years, we didn't even sleep in the same room, um, he was, everything started out great, but it didn't take too long for me to realize that, you know, it was just about usury, and I was just being used to the fullest extent possible, um, so anyway, I went out of town, he changed the locks, and I couldn't get in my house, and then, long story short, is I filed an order of protection against him, because he had blacked my eye, he had hit me in the head, the, the black eye incident happened, like, previous, but, the, but the, and then he tried to come after me with a taser, and he knocked me in the head with a, a, um, a wooden picture, like a really thick canvas wooden frame, picture frame, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I am going the wrong way. Which way is the right way? Anyway, um, so we went to court, and if you go back several, you know, I've discussed this before um, in previous videos, so you're more than welcome to go back and learn more about the, you know, what's happened or what's transpired. But essentially, um, the judge that we had on the day of the first order of protection hearing was it's funny because I at first I thought this is the kind of judge I need because she calls people on their bullshit but then it was the Friday before Labor Day so she was honey she was ready to go like she everything was taking her longer than she wanted it to take and she made that very clear to other attorneys she was just like you know, y'all fucking y'all messing with my Labor Day plans, and she must have said, you know, I went to law school at least twelve or thirteen times. She was a bitch. She did not approve anybody, not even one person's. Uh, well, actually, she did approve one person's order of protection. That's because the other person wasn't there. But aside from that, even whether you had a lawyer or not, she denied, 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 denied everybody's order of protection. And so when it was my turn to get up there, and and uh, his turn. She didn't even look at any of our evidence at all. She just said, you know, this is dismissed, blah, 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 blah. and so I didn't, you know, want to be disrespectful and argue with her. Looking back, I probably should have because I had an entire folder 
of evidence of pictures of my black eye, pictures of the taser stuff, pictures of the, um, of all, how he'd been putting a GPS tracker on my vehicle, and then it just, anyway, so I filed, so as soon as that court date was over, he popped up at my house with suitcases in hand, with suitcases in hand, and was like, hi, honey, I'm home. I mean, he didn't say that, but that's what it felt like. Because he was like, literally, he was ready to move back in, which is insane. It's like, why in the hell do you want to live with somebody who doesn't love you, who doesn't like you at all, who hates you? Hate's a strong word, but if I hate anybody in this world, it's him. He has made my life a living hell, and he's in complete denial about it. Um, he Every time he has a chance to text or video me most recently he got on this because I blocked every number I've changed my phone number so he can't call me so he got on this other app that I was on and I blocked him on Facebook um, I use an app called Marco Polo I do not know how he knew that I used that app other than I'm sure he went through my phone he ha he's hacked into every account that I've had it's so insane like if there's one thing that I can stress to you I don't care how much you love somebody I really don't. If you are smart, you will create a persona. Like, do not. Whenever the, the, you're asking, you're being asked security questions on websites. Do not use your real favorite color. Do not use your real mother's maiden name. Do not use the real street that you grew up on. Make up something that you tell no one, not even your partner. And that's crazy that we that, that there's crazies out there, like my ex-partner. But there are. Trust that. Um, he breaks into he was he's been breaking into all of my accounts. Uh, he hasn't been doing it lately that I know of, but anyway, it's my life has been crazy. Ever since I got him out of my house, it's been wonderful. So, anyways, I filed I filed an appeal. I received the information in the mail saying that there was an appeal, but I had several text messages from some third per party that that he knows saying, "Hey, he wants to know have you heard anything about the appeal uh, about the appeal? What date is it and all this other stuff?" So I don't even know how he knew, but I know this. I did not receive a notification of any appeal. So he he took pictures of the the document from the court saying that the case was dismissed. Now all that's all the paper says is that the case is dismissed. Treat. So all of the all the paper said was that the case was dismissed. It didn't say I must allow him access to my house. See. He already had an opportunity to come into my house with three police officers to get his belongings. He chose not to do that. From my understanding, after the fact, the reason he did not choose to take his belongings with him is because he was in, my, in the house looking for drugs that he had left behind because he was on drugs. Um, you know, I don't hate on nobody. I've done drugs. I've been on drugs before. Like, I get it. But it's kind of crazy that, he, and, and before he left that day, I said, well, I asked him why he wasn't getting more of his stuff, and he said, because this is my house. I mean, the dude is crazy. Now, keep in mind, the dude does not pay rent, has not paid rent at all. He's not on the lease, has never been on the lease at all. Um, did he live there? Yes, he lived there. Did he live there with my permission? Absolutely, 100%, he did not. I tried to get rid of him in my last residence. He actually was hacked into my phone and saw the text message saw the text message that I received from the realtor of my condo and went to get he would I did not even get keys to my own house for the first several days because he had them and he wouldn't make copies of them so anyway you know shoulda coulda woulda maybe I should have called the police then and said he was trespassing yes I should have but I didn't um anyway so my it's already been nine minutes so yesterday um, he said that he was going to come, and I heard that he was at my house and, and all this stuff, and I didn't really hear anything. Today, I, I was taking an afternoon nap. I, like, I could not have been asleep for longer than 20 minutes. I wake up, and he's in my house, but I don't think that he saw me. I don't think that he saw me see him. I saw him as he was leaving, and then, I, of course, I immediately got up and locked the door, and I'm freaking out. How did this motherfucker get inside of my house? Well... He had a locksmith come and open the door. So that's the second time he's had a locksmith just come and let him in. 
It ain't no big deal. Nashville locksmiths will let anybody in. If I found out, if I knew who the fuck let him in, ooh, I would just... How dangerous is that? How crazy is that? All because he can show a piece of mail that showed that he lived there for months and months ago? Are you Are you kidding me? This... Ooh. So, I, I guess in Nashville, I can just find a house that, you know, I think has a lot of really good stuff inside of it. Maybe thousands of dollars in cash or electronics. And uh, I can just uh, have a piece of mail sent there. It doesn't matter what kind of mail it is. It doesn't have to be anything official. Just anything. Junk mail, whatever. I can have it sent to that house. And then I can call, wait till they're out of town, call a locksmith, and just have a locksmith open up my door. How nice. Just open up my door. Let him, and let me in, and I can just rob the place blind. Because that's how it works here, evidently. Uh, I don't want, I don't like to pay, pay alarm monitoring services, but I am today. I'm getting the alarm turned on today. And I also posted a big old sign in orange showing Tennessee's law that says, you cannot just, uh, locksmiths cannot legally open the door just because somebody tells them to, or just because they show them a piece of mail. It's not legal. They need the owner's permission to open the door. They do not have that permission. So I put a big old orange fucking piece of paper on the door, which I'm sure my HOA is going to love that shit. They are going to love it. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be getting letters in the mail about that. I guarantee you. Um, oh my gosh, there's an entirely, an entire new apartment building like, wow, that is crazy. <laughs> that is just, sorry. Um, every time I leave my house and get out, and I'm out every single day, uh, I see something new, like some new apartment building. It's crazy. Or some new office building or something. So anyway, um, I guess the moral of this story is don't, let your partner, your wife, your husband, your daddy, your greasy granny, whoever, do not let anybody know either one or two things. Either don't let them know the real stuff that could allow them to unlock your accounts or um, use a persona, use the fake information to register with websites. Um, and then the second bit of information is listen to your friends when they tell you all the fucking red flags that they see when you first meet somebody. Because it has progressively gotten worse. At first, I thought there was real love there. Now, I don't think there was anything there at all. I think that this is a true narcissist sociopath is what I think. And I'm not a psychiatrist. Um, it's just that, like, I've been re I've read a book about it or listened to a book on Audible. I've listened to podcasts about sociopaths. And he meets all the criteria. I, the thing is, I don't even think that he knows that he's a sociopath. Um, I don't know. I, I don't think that he intentionally goes out and tries to be crazy. But clearly, um, I don't know, it's crazy. He's made my life a living hell. I don't understand. If it, if it were, I just don't get, I do not understand why in the hell. What did he think? He's going to just come up in my house and just live there? For how long? Like... It just doesn't make any fucking sense to me. Like, why can't you just get your own shit together, get your own place? Why do you want to force yourself on someone? Why do you want to for try to force someone to be in love with you? Like, it, it just, it's crazy. It's just, it's just crazy. The whole thing's crazy. You know, the, the, the only, I try to make sense of stuff and I can't stand when I can't. I try to make, you know, figure out some way to, re to, 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 I just try to come to grips with why a person might be doing the things that they're doing. And the only thing that I know is that I was his meal ticket. 100% I was his meal ticket. And, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So, with that said, I've been going for 15 minutes. I'm sorry I'm getting back off of my habit of trying to reduce the time of my videos. But I wanted to rant and rave. I'm still happy. Still happy. So, you know, I like to have bitch sessions when I'm happy, not when I'm sad. <laughs> so, thank you for allowing me to vent to you. As I've told you before, this is very much therapeutic for me. Um, yeah. 
So, uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, please take a minute to subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, share it with your friends or family if you think I'm entertaining, uh, if I provide resources, uh, entertainment, if I'm funny. If you have any questions or comments, or if you think I'm cute, leave, tell me, or, you know, leave your comment or question, or let me know in the comments below. And as always, until next time, enjoy yourself.